Hello, it's your host, Supreme Senpai, Frederick. I'm going to show you the five most popular stat builds in Rogul in five minutes. Coming in at number one, we have a one to one balance build. This consists of putting one focus into Kagune or Quinke and putting one focus into durability until you run out of focus. If you use this, you're nothing short of a normal person, probably come from the Philippines or the United States too. How about that? Am I in the ballpark? This stat build is great for people who want to have fights that aren't too long or too short. The advantage with this build is that you're going to get used to more consistent fight results. However, the disadvantage with this balance build is that every time your opponent is setting the pace for you. If your opponent is a zero durability glass cannon, for example, you're forced to adapt to that glass pace, a fast, sporadic, chance ridden pace. If your opponent has a tanky build, the fight is forced to be longer. Fights will always be quite static, so the weapon I'd recommend for this popular build is something that has a long range but melee capability. For CCG, Al Quinque. For Ghoul, Edo K2 or Edo K3. Next, we have number 2, which is a 2 to 1 glass cannon. This consists of putting 2 focus into Kagane and or Quinque and putting 1 focus into durability until you run out of focus. Who would have known? This stat build is great for people who want to have fights that are sporadic, lucky, and chance riddled. The advantage with this build is that everyone you encounter would die faster than if you had used another stat build. Obviously. And you get to set the pace of the fight almost always being fast. The disadvantage is that you will get unlucky at times and go on a losing streak to someone who has a 20 ping and a gaming PC. Of course, they're not much of a fan as this. Yeah, you know who the fuck Bruh. I'm talking about. Fights with this build will always be exciting, so the weapon I'd recommend for this popular build is something that can close the distance with a stun so that the opponent does not get the chance to use their own moves to damage you. For CCG, that'd be Ginkwe, and for Ghoul, I'd say Taki, but then you'd have to deal with the everlasting realization that your crippling short-term memory loss caused your parents to inevitably leave you and now you're in a mental asylum watching my videos. Good choice. Wait, isn't that me? Fuck, who wrote the goddamn script? Oh. Number three, we have a two to three tank build. Two focus into damage and three focus into durability. Now, if you use this build, you're an absolute giga chad. That's really all that has to be said about that. Advantages are that fights are longer and more dependent on skill, which you have as many as you have bitches, and you have a lot of bitches. You also probably look like this, or this. Weapons I'd recommend are something that has a lot of range because you'll be needing to create a lot of distance and get chip damage off of people. I'd recommend you go with Koshi or Kajiri. Now, number four, the unequivocal equivalent of my grandmother's God Grace Meridian's rehabilitation instrument that's spelt wrong because it was made in a factory in China from child slaves is the godly no durability build. Now, if you use this, you're one of two things. A Discord moderator who spends most of his time grooming kids, or you're just a YouTuber who's trying to make videos on Rogel. Advantage is that everything dies extremely fast and is very good for farming. Disadvantage is that you're extremely vulnerable. I'd recommend a weapon with high speed and high range, so Kajiri, Taki, or even Koshi. Perhaps even Ginghui if you're good with that. Now last on the list, number 5, which is a 1-2 to two tank build. If you use this, you're from Western Europe, and when you say bottle of water, you absolutely say it like bottle of water. You're polite, and are probably enlisted into the CCG or Algiri tree, one of two. Advantage is longer fights, so more time to contemplate that we're all mortal souls trapped inside a husk of flesh. Disadvantage is that you'll need some actual skill if you're going to use this, but if you're using this build, you're probably already decent at the game. An all-around great guy.
Weapons I'd recommend are either 13's Jason due to its extreme speed or the Jurassic Park reference of a Kakujira. You could also use Al Quinque for every stat build that I've referenced. It's been your host, Frederick. Socials in the description. I'm out. Now that bomb comes. <laughs>